Welcome to Audubon Drive in Memphis, Tennessee. One of the first homes that ever belonged to Elvis Presley. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. I am in Memphis, Tennessee today and we are going to be talking about some history of the Audubon home that belonged to Elvis, his mother, and his father Vernon Presley back in the 50s. We're going to match up some photos. This is going to be a lot of fun. Now! Let's take a closer look. So this is the Audubon Drive house that Elvis purchased on March 12th, 1956. He bought it for $29,500. He only put a down payment of 500 bucks for this house. And <laughs> he was 21 years old. And shortly after the Presley family moved into this house, Heartbreak Hotel went on to skyrocket on the Billboard charts. This started making the Presley family get noticed here in Memphis. People started figuring out exactly where Elvis, his mom and dad were living. They wanted to come see Elvis. They used to line up the sidewalk here just like they would do at Graceland. People from all over were coming to get a glimpse of the king of rock and roll. Magazines, news corporations, all kinds of attention was happening here for the Presley family made it a little difficult for Elvis, his mom, and his dad to live in this house. So one year and one month later, 13 months later, the Presley family moved to Graceland and sold the Audubon Drive property as a part of his mansion and estate's purchase. So basically, Ruth Moore, who owned Graceland at the time, she just kind of swapped houses as a part of the payment for Graceland. So she got this house and Elvis got Graceland, along with some more money. Now the house itself is a one-story ranch-style house. Two-car garage attached right over here. There's four bedrooms in here, two bathrooms, and this brick metal fence was installed by the Presley family. Now, in the backyard, there was a motorcycle garage and there was also a pool there that he installed in 1956. They removed the pool unfortunately in the year 2006. Now this is the color green that it was originally painted. It went to a white color and then it went back to this green color that we see. And we're going to be matching up some photographs here so you guys can see what it looked like when the Presley family lived here. And there's the house. Pretty much looks the same. There's some awnings and stuff over the windows, but I'm going to insert the photo once again so you guys can see exactly how much has changed. A few trees have grown up, and then this is current day. Now this photo has always been one of my favorites. It took place right here with Elvis Vernon and his mother Gladys standing in where the mailbox used to sit. There's no longer a mailbox here. They were standing right here, right in front of that little sidewalk, and the, the mailbox would have been right there. And just to give you guys another perspective of what it looked like when they had the mailbox and the fence installed, right here. You see the, the brick fence and everything it starts to make more sense now. And this is what it looks like now. Now right here you can see Elvis taking off in his motorcycle and the house and the garage from across the street still looks the exact same. Right over there. Now right over here in this yard, it's hard to match it up because of the fence and this is about as close as you can get. But this is where this famous photograph of Elvis and all the cars and the famous pink Cadillac in the background was taken. This photograph here was taken right here in this yard. Elvis would have been standing right over there next to those windows.
close up. Gonna zoom in the best I possibly can. They've added the P to the awning. Obviously for Presley, the current owner knows what they have. They try to preserve this the best they can. And they do allow tours sometimes. It's like a private event type thing, invite only. There's no way to really stay in this house. It's not an Airbnb, although that would be pretty incredible and I'm guessing it would match. I'm guessing it would book up very quickly. There's barbed wire through here and a little spiky here. They do not want you attempting to get in to this house. But while I'm here, the landscape guys are, are here, so they're gonna go in and work on this house. And there is a plaque here talking about everything I just said. The home is now owned by Mike Kerb, Family Foundation, dedicated to the support of the music, education, and restoration of historic music locations. 2006, the foundation created the Mike Kerb Institute for Music at Rhodes College to advance music-related preservation and research. And they just opened these gates. We can get a different look here of the house real quick before they start doing yard work and landscape work. Man, what I would give to walk up to that house. And that is it for today. We came, we saw, we took care of business. It's about to get a little loud here because they are going to be doing some yard work and some work on the house, which means our adventure for today has come to an end. And it's time to say goodbye. If you enjoyed this episode, please click the thumbs up button. Next time you're here in Memphis, check out Audubon Drive. The address is 1034 Audubon Drive, Memphis, Tennessee. The first home of Elvis Presley that he bought for his parents before he moved in to Graceland. I will see you guys on the next adventure. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.